Hey guys, it's Killer Kill 360 back on another one. This is like my fourth time redoing this because the freaking ambulance and fire trucks kept interrupting my um video, so I had to start over. But yeah, besides all of that, thank you guys for giving me to two, 52 subscribers. This is my special I'm making. Um, what if Luffy was OP and had the strongest crew? So let's get started. And the ships are Nami X Luffy, Reiju X Katakori, Zoro X Robin, um, Sabo X, um, ooh, I don't know. Uh, who should I ship Sabo with? Um, Nami Sister Makano. I'm sorry for that long pause. Um, Ace Boa. So let's get started. And the devil fruit that I'm gonna get Luffy. It's called the Lich Lich fruit from um World of Warcraft. He's um pretty much gonna be the Lich King. So let me tell you his abilities. He can slow his enemies down over time, drain they they strain, and it stacks up to five times and then it resets. And um he could he could regenerate and get health from his enemies. Um, what else? And he um can freeze water. He could walk on water. Um, and he, when he awaken his devil fruit, it's gonna be he can control up to a hundred thousand undead soldiers, and they all immune to conqueror's hockey. So yeah. Um. So yeah. Let's get started. So, the story starts off like this in the East Blue. Luffy, you know, he's in a bar with um Ace. I mean, not Ace. Yeah, Ace is with him, too. I'm changing it up. Ace and Luffy are brothers and Salvo. All three of them are brothers. So, they all at the bar and shit, you know. So, Ace is talking to Luffy and Salvo. They just talking about random stuff. Then Shanks pops up and, you know, they have a big old party and stuff. So, you know, the band is popping like assholes. And they're like, yo, I want some sake. Where the sake at? Um, this is the last bottle. We kind of finished this. So, do you want this bottle? And, you know, he still breaks the bottle in front of Shanks' face. Um, this time, Shanks is an absolute savage. He just cuts the man's arm off. He's like, don't, why well, try to give you respect? You don't shit on it. So he cuts, he cuts the bandit's arm off and they run away. They're like, this guy's a savage. He gives no fucks. So they run away and shit. And you know, Luffy and Ace and Salvo, you know, they still, you know, stupid. And they end up eating the fruits that's inside the box. So, um,. After all that shenanigans happen, um, Shanks is like, all right, let me get these fruits so I can go sell them. And then he looks over and he sees all three of the fruits gone. He's like, what the hell? What happened to the fruits that was in those boxes? Uh, we ate them. Y'all fucking idiots. Those are devil fruits. You can't swim no more. Spit it out. Spit it out. Says Shanks. Like, we can't swim no more. And he's like, what, what, what which one y'all did y'all eat? Lu Luffy said, I ate the one with the word skull on it. I ate the one that had all different colors, says Sabo. And I ate the, the red one. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Those double fruits cost a lot of money. I could sell them for and I ate them. Besides the um the lichless fruit, nobody knows about that one. But the other two, he could have sold them. Somebody else had them. He's like, oh, that just cost me a lot of berries, y'all little knuckleheads. And he punched them in the head. And he's like, they're like, ow. <laughs> so it was like, all right, pretty much I can explain the other two devil fruits. But Luffy, you, I don't know what that devil fruit does yet. I never, I never seen nobody with that devil fruit. It looks weird. It says, um, eight. I mean, um, we call it, um, Shank says. So, yeah. 
So Shanks is like, Ace, you ate the Mara Mara no me. Sabo, you ate the adaptability. Adaptability fruit. Um, so adaptability, I mean, it's like I can, I have the control of anywhere I'm at, right? Smart. That's a very smart kid. You already know which kind of fruit you have. Mara Mara no me. Wait, you mean I have the fire devil fruit? Says Ace. Because he heard about it. He like, stop, I mean, um, Shanks is like, yup. You got the Mara Mara no me. You can control fire. And you're our Logia. Now, you, Luffy, I don't know what fruit you ate, but I don't know what that fruit does yet. So, you know, let's just say, for plot convenience, it's a dead apple core, right? It's a it's an apple core, and Luffy just, like, waves his hands over it, and it freaking regenerates slowly over time. Everybody's freaking the hell out. They're like, what the hell? He brought... That fruit was just a dead apple core. And he brought it back to a, a nice, fresh fruit. I don't know. I think I have the power over the dead, says Luffy. Everybody's like, what? Yeah, I can raise the dead and revive them. But, um... I think it's only for, like... One day, but after one day, I can't revive people no more. Number, Devil Fruits let you know how they, their abilities work. So, he's like, yeah, I guess I can control the dead. That's freaking awesome. Y'all all have freaking strong-ass Devil Fruits. Please don't show nobody that what your abilities can do until y'all get older and know how to use them properly. So I don't want nobody trying to kill y'all and take your devil fruits, says um, Shanks. They shake their head, yeah, we will keep it a secret among us. And he looks at everybody in the bar like, do not touch these kids or you have to deal with me, says Shanks. Everybody's like, they shake their head, yeah. And I'm going to make Shanks very broken. Like, his conqueror's hockey is not like anybody else's. His conqueror's hockey warps reality. Yes, that's how strong his hockey is. And he has a, a bounty of five billion. Five hundred billion. No, five billion. Never mind. Five billion. So he's up there with the big boys. His conquerors and his, his hockey is just on a whole different level. So, yeah. So Ace um, and Luffy and Salvo was like, yo. You gotta train, man. Yo, you know about this new kid named Katakori? He's built weird. He's super tall for his age. But her, he's pretty cool. Maybe we should go hang out with him. So they go meet up Katakori. They go see who Katakori is because he's like the big shot of, with the kids and stuff. He's mad cool. And Katakori's gonna be older than them. Mmm. Bye. Two years. So, they go see what Kyle Corey is about. Apparently, he has a devil fruit himself. Nobody really knows, but it's a rumor. So, they all go meet Kyle Corey. Kyle Corey's like, who y'all guys? My name is Monkey D. Luffy, and I'm going to be the king of the pirates, says um Luffy. And we're going to help him get reach that goal, says Ace and Sabo. I mean, we got our own ambitions, too. I want to be a Yonko, says Ace. Me, I just want, um, Sabo just says, I just, just going on a ride for just to have fun with these guys. Well, those are my brothers, so I'm going to help them get there. Oh, that, that pretty cool, says Katakori. Oh, huh, really? And I want to be the world's strongest fighter, says Katakori. Whoa, that's a tall ambition because you're going to get through me says Luffy because I'm going to be the pirate king and I have to be the strongest uh, I don't know about that says um, Katakori I'm already two years older than you because they all told them what age they are and shit you know they told they're kicking it they're good pals so there's a rumor around saying that you have a devil fruit Katakori how do y'all know that 
It's a rumor. People talk. Yeah, I do have a devil fruit. It's called the mochi mochi no me. Mmm, mochi. That sounds very interesting, says Luffy and Ace and Sabo. So, since you told us that you have a devil fruit, we all have devil fruits ourselves. So, um, Kyra Corby's like, what? Really? What, is your devil, what kind of devil fruit y'all have? Well, those two, well, they tell, they tell, I have the Mary Mary no me, and my brother Sabo has the adaptability, adaptability fruit. So, they like, he's like, whoa. I heard about the Mary Mary no me and the adaptability fruit. Those are very powerful devil fruit, says Katakori. And I'm just stuck with mochi. Um, don't don't be too bummed out. I think you could do some pretty cool stuff with mochi and you put your mind to it. Says everybody. Says Ace, Sabo, and Luffy. Yeah, it could be very powerful used in the right way. Yeah, it could. So you want to train? We can train until we're old enough to go out to the sea. All of us can train. So. Ace and Sabo and um, Kalakori is like, you know what? That's not a bad idea, says all of them. So they train. Let's say 17 years pass later. Now, these guys, let me explain. These guys are absolute monsters. Ace, Sabo, and Luffy and Kalakori are freaking monsters. And they all have Conqueror's Hockey. Yes, all... Four of them have Conqueror's Hockey. Um, I'm going to say with Zoro, when we get to Zoro, he's going to be a beast too. He has something different than Conqueror's. It's called the Devil's Aura. Yes. Because Devil Fruits. But this one, he's going to have the devil, Devil's Aura. Like, no, not... Mm, no, the demon aura. Demon aura. Let's take that back. Demon aura. Um, demon's aura. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the demon's aura. That sounds a little bit more friendly than saying the other word. So, yeah. Let me explain what the aura does. It emits a ton of bloodlust. And, um... He has super senses and he has precognition. So he can see f like 10 seconds into the future with that type of aura and his eyes turn purple. But he's going to be the only person with that. <clears throat> so yeah. So yeah, they like, all right, I think it's time for us to head out and see, bro. And meet some ladies. Facts. Say it's... Um, or, or, um, four of them say facts. So, and yo, bros, my bros, I heard about this kid named Scourge, and he's the same age as us. He, um, apparently has a shark devil fruit, and he can swim in water. We need him to join our crew. If y'all don't know who Scourge is, that's pretty much me, guys. I know y'all like, you gonna let Luffy get with Nami? Ain't that your favorite waifu? Um, I'm find somebody else. Yeah, I'm gonna find somebody else. I'm gonna let Luffy have Nami in this one. So, yeah. <laughs> that happens. So, they like, you know what he be hanging out at? It's a rumor that he's at, um, what do you call it? At Fishman Island. Mm. Okay, me and Nami are very good friends. Fuck it. Me and Nami are good friends. We used to date each other, but since then we stopped. Yeah, let's say that. So, <clears throat> um, but I heard he has major beef with Erlon. Yeah, he does. Those two have been clashing with each other for the longest. Hmm. Well, I mean, we could go there, guys, and beat the shit out of Erlong. You know what? Let's do that. So, I'm changing things up. There's really no need for Sanji to be there. Like, so I know Sanji the GOAT. 
know what? Fuck it. No, Sanji. I'm so sorry. I'm messing up the story. Sanji, um, is with us. So is Reiju. Reiju is with Sanji at the Bratier. So, you know, my boy Katakori, you know, my son. My son, like, you know how tall Katakori is? That man is tall as hell. Hold on, let me see how tall he is. I'll be right back, guys. Boy Katakori is 16 feet tall, bro. Yeah. I'm going to keep him that tall because that makes him badass. <laughs> my boy packing heat, if you know what I mean. Pause, but yeah, that's all for Reiju. <laughs> I don't know how she do it, but hey, that's I don't know. That's that's their thing. So yeah, my boy Katakori be clapping them cheeks. So those two together. So you know they get they get to the brachier and shit. You know, um, Sabo. I mean not Sabo. Um, fucking they get Zoro too. So I'm skipping a lot of stuff because that stuff is just easy work for these guys at this point. So. Let me tell you who's on the crew now. Sabo, Luffy, Katakori, Ace, Zoro, Sanji, Reiju, and Katakori. If I already said that, my bad. But yeah, that's the crew right now. And they all heading off to Online Park because they're actually looking for me. Um, And Nami. Let's just say Nami joined them for a little bit, and they dipped out, she dipped out on them. So they don't even know Nami's at Arlong Park at all. Oh, man, I really liked it, that girl, says Luffy. Nami was the shit, man. Why'd she have to go leave, leave me like that? I was going to ask her out and everything, <clears throat> says Luffy. So we get to Arlong Park and shit. I'm like... I I just get out the water because my dumb fruit allows me to swim in water. And then I see them. I'm like, damn, that's a lot of people right there. Those are pirates. So I woke up to them. I'm like, who y'all? They like, oh, we're looking for you, bro. You the exact person that we looking for. We need a good fighter on our crew. And your reputation is pretty high, says Luffy. I'm like, I ain't joining no weak crew. That's just me. Oh, you think us? We think you think we weak. The Katakori is like, let me shut him up. He activates his conqueror's hockey, and he he thought that his conquerors would knock me out, but then I flex mines, and it's pretty much even. It's like, oh yeah, this guy is freaking powerful. He can take my conqueror's hockey. Oh, I was gonna flex mines, but you beat me to it, Katakori. My oh, bad, Luffy. This guy was talking a whole bunch of shit. I thought he was all talking no bite. Oh, you think I'm no bite? And then I turn into my um my hybrid um great white form. I'm like, now you wanna fight me? You know what? Yeah, category test out his strength. I'm like, I don't care how tall you are. You look around like sixteen feet and I'm five nine. I don't care who how tall you are or how Small you are. I don't care. Size don't matter to me. I fight. Pause. But I sound right. <laughs> so I don't care. I'm like, me and you can scrap. Oh, this man got guts. It's almost like, yeah, he has to join our crew. He's too beastly. I really want him in our crew. I'm like, well, y'all gotta convince me first for me to join y'all. So we start clashing. Me, Kyle, Corey. We fighting like crazy in our lives. Like, what the hell is going on? So, yeah, we start clashing and shit. And it's crazy. So, I hit Katakori. He tries to, you know, turn into Mochi. But I hit him with my armament um, fist. And I punch him, sending him flying. And then he bounces back. And he turns into a um, donut wheel. And coming at me at full speed. And then, me and him just start clashing. He's throwing his punches everywhere. Like, it, his punches is like gear for Luffy, like Snake Man. So his punches is going mad fast. I'm dodging it on my observation hockey. They're like, oh, he has observation hockey too. He's giving Katakori a pretty good fight. The fight is intense. Then I'm like, ultimate move. 
King Crusher fan. And I bite Kyle Corey. While well, I'm in hockey, um, and the shark bite for us. And I bite him. I, I crunch his bones. You can hear the bone crack. Now my arm. And then he punched me right off. Bastard. That really hurt. Says Kyle Corey. And then Luffy's like, I, I think that's enough for y'all too. I spit out the blood that's in my mouth. Not bad, you know what? I like y'all guys. I'm gonna join y'all. So now I join the crew with them. Like, it was crazy, the fight between me and Katakori. It's so like, I, right, I got to see your strength and I know how strong you are, says Luffy. So I'm like, so you're the big shot, so you must be the strongest out of all of them. It's like, yes, I am. He's like, what's your double fruit? How you know I have a devil fruit? I just don't know. I just have the sixth sense. It says me. A devil fruit. I can control the undead. And I look at him like. Are you serious? Like that's fucking insane. And I thought my devil fruit was strong. Nah. You haven't seen. All of us is pretty strong in this crew. And my boy Zoro. He doesn't even use a devil fruit. But he's so strong that he doesn't even need it. I look at Zoro like. But he got three swords. Why do you have three swords? I use a three sword style. I'm like, that's fucking raw. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm like, alright. I know y'all not just here for me. Who y'all here for, too? You looking for an orange haired girl? Oh, you looking for Nami? How you know Nami? Well, me and her was really good friends. Um... But this bastard Amo, man. I'm having a hard time fighting him. But somebody as strong as you having a hard time with him. Yeah, but... For some reason he woke in Conquerors. He has Conquerors as well. And then it's just me against his whole crew. It's not a fair fight. We gotta deal with him and fight the other one, so... It's a stalemate for now. But with y'all guys, so I know I can... I know y'all can beat him easy. So that happens and shit. So we like, yo, we all going to all on park to kill this bastard. We've been having my good friend Nami hurting so bad, and I want to kill him. It's fact, same here, says Luffy. So we all walking. We all gooned out. Like, like we, like you can feel the hockey coming off from us. And I'm sorry for the motorcycles. But you can feel the hockey coming from us. And we finally get to Arlong Park and we punch the walls down. I slap it with my tail, smack the whole wall down. It's like, who the hell did that, says Arlong. Oh, it's you, Scourge. And you brought some friends along with you. And Luffy's like, you know what? Conquer his hockey. He flexes it. Everybody's like, oh, that shit is intense. Is it... It's so intense that we got a sweat coming from us. We're like, damn, that Conqueror is insane. I never felt no Conqueror like that. Besides, I heard about one rumor about one person. He's like Red Hair Shanks. And he hears me say that. Now, nah, my Conqueror is not that strong. But I know who Shanks is. That's a good friend of mine. And I look at him like, you know Shanks? Red Hair Shanks. Yes, Red Hair Shanks. I know him. I'm like, you know what? I hit the jet part. This crew is fucking awesome. Arlong is like, why the fuck are y'all annoying me? Oh, yeah. We didn't forget about you. So, Luffy's like, all right. I heard that you've been having my friend Nami here as a slave. And you've been using her for her maps. And you stole her gold from her. You are a piece of shit, says Luffy. And piece of shit like you should not deserve to live. So, arise, my undead soldiers. And I'm like, undead soldiers? I'm like, and then you just see, and they all start coming from the ground. Jump him. And then they all just jump Erlong. They jump on Erlong. Erlong beating them up, smacking them off and all of that. It's like, these things are weak. Alright. 
ghoul. And then the ghoul comes, and then yeah, the ghoul comes out. Now Erlong and the ghoul is fighting, and then Luffy's like, "Ghoul return," and then the ghoul goes back on the ground. It's like you know what? I gotta deal with you personally," says Luffy. Shadow Morn. Now Shadow Morn is ice sword, and then out of nowhere, some. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Out of nowhere, Zoro just feels this presence calling out to him. It's the Ashbringer is calling out to him. So, you know, Zoro's like, guys, I gotta go. I feel like something's calling out to me. They're like, okay, just make sure you come back to the crew when you're about to leave. He's like, I got y'all. So, Zoro's going to the other side of the island. But let's cut back to Erlong. We're going to talk about Zoro later on in the next part, guys. So, it's like, you know what? Death grip. And he pulls Erlong to him. He's like, you know what? A piece of shit like you, die. And then he starts to freeze Erlong's blood from the inside. Yeah, I've told you, Luffy's very hacked out in this one. He starts freezing his blood, his molecules. Now he's just a frozen husk. Now he's like, what did you do to him? I froze his blood. He's not coming back no more. He's dead. Now he starts to cry. She's like, thank you so much, Luffy. And then everybody's like, yes, that bastard is finally dead. Everybody, Hoshki and them runs away because they don't want to die. <laughs> I'm like, y'all better run before I kill y'all. And I release my conquerors on them. And they like, we getting the hell out of here. So, I'm like, alright. I give Nami a hug, you know, because she's my friend. We, we good friends. Um, So, I give her a hug. I pat her on her head, you know. Nami's like, thank you so much, Scourge. You've been a good friend of mine. I know you've been trying to fight Erlong, but you can't just do this by yourself. And I'm so happy you brought these... Well, she know who Luffy and you know. She's like, I surprised you know them. I just met them today, and they just cool people. I know, right? <laughs> it says Nami. She's all happy and shit, you know? See, she's hugging Luffy just like this in her own picture. She's hugging him. And Luffy's holding her like that. She really likes Luffy, so she pulls Luffy over to the side. She's like, I know Luffy. I really like you. I've been wanting to tell you this for, like, the longest so she puts her finger, she starts rubbing on his chest. And then she just, Luffy just like, fuck it. And he kisses her. She wasn't expecting that. She turns red. She's like, why you kiss me? I wasn't, I wasn't ready for that. Uh, I know you wasn't because you didn't give me your best. And he's like, she's like, oh, I'll give you my best now. Come here. And she starts tongue kissing that boy. So Nami and Luffy is a thing. I'm a little jelly. I'm a little jelly. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little jelly, but I get over it. So, we all head back to the, um, you know what? I'm retconning something. I'm going to go out with, um, Makano. I'm going to go out with Makano. Makano sees me. She's like, I know you've been liking not me. But she doesn't see such a good man that you are. I mean, she cares for you and all, but... I know you wanted something more with Nami. I'm like, how did you know that? I know you've been had the heart on for my sister for the longest. But you neglect about me. I had the heart on for you for the longest. And I turned red because I'm like, I didn't even know Monka no liked me like that. I'm like, um, I, I didn't even know you liked me like that. Yes, that's why Nami didn't go out with you, because she felt bad if she did that, it will break my heart. I'm like, you know what, come here. I kiss her. Like, you fire too, like, no cap, I ain't gonna cap. I have my eye on you too. So we know me and Maka no hit it off, we dating. So Luffy has Nami and I have Maka no. So, yeah, I went either way. I'm gonna let um Sanji get with um Vivi. So yeah. Me and Monka knows a thing. Um so yeah, I think I'm gonna end it off here, guys. 
Tell me what y'all think. I had a lot of fun making this special. And yeah, roll to 100 subscribers. Let's get started. Peace, guys. Have a good night. I'm out of here. Kill I Kill signing off.